Production on many of your favorite shows and film series could soon come to a screeching halt, though, because the Writers Guild of America voted to go on strike if there is no new labor deal by May 1st. Mike Valerio looks at what that means for your next binge watch. A strike is, is a brutal thing. For Writers Guild of America negotiators, a record 97.9% .9 approval to authorize a strike is a major weapon at the negotiating table. The unfortunate nature of our business is that everything that the Writers Guild has achieved, minimum compensation, pension and health benefits, residuals, has all come from either a strike or the real threat of one. The WGA says the rise of streaming and the shortening of traditional TV seasons are making it difficult for members to make a living wage. We're just looking to be fairly compensated for the value we create. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers represents several major entertainment companies. They've released a statement reading in part, quote, our goal is and continues to be to reach a fair and reasonable agreement. On strike, shut it down! The last writer's strike came in 2007 and lasted 100 days, but today's landscape looks very different. We were just catching up to production stoppages and COVID encumbrances. The impact of a strike would reverberate from Hollywood backlots to America's living rooms. What you're looking at is sort of shows that you are anticipating a season coming up with in the next few months could be delayed as, as much as a year, if not more, depending on how the strike plays out. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio reporting.